Hi, this is the tutorial for Glom Fashion Brush Set's free worksheet. Glom Fashion Brush Set features 80 brushes and 8 models. You can find the link to buy in the description below. If you are the previous buyer, please download all PNG worksheets in the link in the description below. If you are a new buyer, you can find all free worksheets in the models procreate file here. We are using April in this tutorial. Import the downloaded PNG and place it on top of the model. Separate the outline into a new layer. Adjust the size to fit the model and lower the opacity to 30%. We are using 4 colors and 5 brushes for this gown. Let's fill the background with this dark purple color here. With this background, April's hair now looks a bit too dark. Let's brighten her hair color using hue saturation adjustment. Now let's start drawing the gown. Use the color number 1 to draw along the green line to create the top piece of the skirt. Make sure the hands layer is on top of the skirt. Next, we are creating the layered trims for the skirt. Let's rotate the canvas so it is easier to paint. Use the Tool Frills brush number 3, at 70% opacity, to paint a few times at the hemline. You don't need to paint them neatly. Just leave them overlapping like this. Next, we are drawing the tool layer on top, using the masking technique. Select the base layer, while the layer is selected, create a new layer on top and tap mask. Use the color number 2 and the lace tool number 2 brush to paint. Use low pressure at the start and end with more pressure so the brush size become bigger to match the skirt shape. Try to avoid overlapping stroke to keep the transparent effect. Then go back to the base layer and erase the edge to the red line. So it looks like a two-layered skirt like this. Now, let's group these layers together. For the next piece of the skirt, simply repeat the same process. Make sure you draw it under the top piece. You can adjust the brush size to fit the skirt, so it is easy to draw. Again, create a new layer on top using the masking technique. Use the lace tool brush number 2 to fill the area. Erase the base layer to the red line. Repeat the same process with the third piece. For the third layer is a bit different. Erase the base layer to the red line on all three sides of the skirt. You can hide the tool layer to see clearer. Once you already finished erasing the hemline, use the brush tool frills number 3 to draw only on this side, so that the hemline looks softer. Once you are done with all three pieces, we will create some shadows and folds to bring more depth to the skirt. Let's start with the top piece. Duplicate the tool layer and change it to multiply. Clear the layer content. Use the paintbrush with 60% opacity and the color number 3 to lightly paint under the hands and then paint along the blue lines for the folds.
Repeat the same process with the other two pieces. If it gets too dark, just lower the opacity of the layer. Or if the fold lines are too hard, you can use the smudge tool to help smooth them. Don't paint the shadows and the folds too dark, because we want to keep the transparent look of the skirt. If the tool you drew is not aligned with the blue outlines like this, just follow the tool lines instead of the blue lines. Once you are happy with the skirt, let's move on to the last part, the bodice. Use the base brush and the color number one to draw. Finish off the bodice using the vintage trims number one. Draw along the direction in the guideline. That's it for the tutorial. Thank you for watching the video. I hope this tutorial could be helpful for you to design your own clothing. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.